Hi, and welcome to more Crayon Craziness. Three years ago I did a how-to video about using distress crayons made by Tim Holtz for putting mortar into laser cut brick walls. Since I put that out I've had a number of people mention to me that they've tried it and they like using them. And I have an update now for a project where I'm using them on resin walls. But first, what is a distress crayon? It's a water reactive pigment that's held in a medium and carried in an applicator similar to a marker. It feels like a crayon when you're putting it on, but it doesn't dry. And since it's water reactive, you can use water to move it around. You can buy distress crayons individually or they come in various sets. And they come in a wide array of colors. Most of the ones that I use tend to be earth tones or gray tones, but they have a whole rainbow of colors available. Now here's a test I did using a small range of colors on a sample test wall. And this is the project piece that I'm working on. It's an O-scale Pennsylvania Railroad Tower and the walls are made out of resin. So when I first start out, besides my crayon, I have a small amount of water, a couple of brushes and a paper towel. And I'll start by applying the distress crayon right onto the wall that I'm working on. I'm trying to get full coverage because I want to get it into all of the mortar cracks. If you're going for an older building and you want to have some of the mortar lines looking like the mortar is chinked out of them, then you can be more random in your application and you'll get that effect. The next step is I use my finger and I'm just going to continue rubbing the crayon into the mortar joints. You really want to get it embedded into them. Now in a little bit we'll be using a fair bit of water, but being resin walls this shouldn't be an issue. If I was working on wooden laser cut brick walls I'd be working in a smaller area so that it wouldn't be wet for as long. Next I'll use my wet brush and at this point I'm trying to get all of the excess crayon off of the surface of the wall. My goal is to not disturb the crayon that's been pushed into the mortar joints but still try to get most of the crayon that's on the surface of the bricks off of them. You have to be careful at this stage. While the crayon that's in the mortar joints is wet, it's susceptible to being pulled out if you're too aggressive. And at this stage, if I were to use a rag to try and wipe the wet crayon off of the surface, it would also tend to pull some of it out of the mortar joints. So I just end up using my brush somewhat like a squeegee. I'll keep wiping the water off and wiping my brush on the paper towel. And that gets the surface less and less covered with the wet crayon. At this point I've gotten much of it off. It still has a little bit on the surface, but I haven't disturbed any of the crayon that's gotten into the mortar joints. So I can now very carefully take a towel and gently wipe some of the excess off. And 
And again, I'm being careful not to pull any of the crayon out of the mortar joints. By going back over it with a wet finger, I'm diluting even more of the crayon that's still sitting on the surface, which thins it out and will also make it easier to take off with a brush. Again, I just use it like a squeegee. And with each round of thinning and brushing, it gets more and more diluted and becomes easier to remove the excess. And you can see now it still has a, a sheen on it from being wet but more of the mortar is reduced off of the surface of the bricks. And I'm not done with it yet. But at this point, after I brush a little bit more off, which tends to blend it all in, I'll get a hair dryer. And that way I can dry it off and that will help for the crayon that's in the mortar joints to harden in place. And in turn, that makes it easier to get off any excess on the surface that I want to. But you can't do this phase too soon, or else you'll dry all of the haze on the surface of the bricks. So now that it's dry, you can see that we have our crayon embedded into the mortar lines. And for the most part at this point, it's now going to be fairly secure in there. And depending on how many steps of cleaning the crayon off the surface you go through, you can end up with a little bit of a haze on the brick. But that's okay. It can be the lime from the mortar or the efflorescence coming out of the brick. And it's not uncommon to see that on brick walls after a while. And there is a number of ways of putting mortar into brick walls. But this is one product that I've used in a number of cases and I enjoy working with it. And I should point out distress crayons aren't just for putting mortar into brick walls. I've found a number of other uses for them in a variety of modeling projects. And I hope you'll give them a try on some of your builds. Thank you so much for watching.